Now, the concept of atheism and, and this designation of, of the new atheist that is following many of us around like our shadows uh, has confused, I think, even the scientific discussion of religion. And I think much of that confusion has been in evidence at this conference. Uh, it's in evidence in a debate that we're having online right now. Thomas Nagel is, is saying what many people at this conference have, have said, that there is no, uh, there's nothing about science that entails a criticism of religion. And there's nothing about science that entails a commitment to atheism. This, I think, is to be misled by words, words like religion and atheism. I mean, science clearly does not entail that one identify oneself as an atheist or even think of oneself as an atheist. But science does entail that one be skeptical of unsupported and unsupportable claims about miracles and about the divine origin of certain books. And when you dig into the details, this is all atheism is. It, atheism is the failure to be convinced by other people's claims about miracles. And it is the conviction that they too should not be convinced. I mean, is, is there a conflict between justified and unjustified belief? I mean, this is really where we can see that there's a zero-sum game here between religion and science, because both religion and science are ways of forming beliefs, or ways, way, ways of, they are, are systems of belief and their justification, or, or lack thereof. And unfortunately, they are systems that require very different standards of evidence and levels of self-criticism. And, and therefore, any comparison between religion and science is bound to be invidious. Another problem, another way in which this, this, this entanglement is unavoidable between religion and science is that you can't disentangle religious and scientific truth claims. The belief that Jesus was born of a virgin is one of the, the key doctrines of Christianity. It is also a claim about biology. The belief that he will return to earth at some point in the future to judge the world entails a variety of claims about history, about the human survival of death, and apparently about the, the mechanics of human flight without the aid of technology. These are, there is of necessity conflict between religion and science here. Now, now people like Deidre McCluskey have alleged that, that the atheist criticism of religion always focuses on the most benighted and marginal and Bible-thumping you know, nitwit version of the faith. And there's a far more sophisticated faith on offer that is untouched by this criticism. It's just not true. I mean, this criticism applies every bit as much to a sophisticated believer like Francis Collins. In fact, more so, because he should know better. Uh, he should know that, see, that if a frozen waterfall can testify to the divinity of Jesus, anything can testify to anything. 